Hey everybody, so today we're going to be doing a power supply install. We're going to replace it with a nice Corsair one. I'll show you how to do it and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is take off the side panel of your case. Now again, all cases are going to be totally different. Um, in this case, we actually just have two screws, top and bottom. Um, most custom builds do it this way. They just have like two screws or one screw. And then you just pull it up and lift it just like that. You can see it's a little bit messy in here. All right, so there are a bunch of things that are connected to your power supply. The easiest thing is just to track it. So here's your power supply right here. And you want to see what cables are connected. So you just want to remove them. There's two main power cables that go to motherboard. It's right here. Here's the main power for it right here. So just remove it like that. You can see there's a little bit of a latch there. You just hold it down like that. You pinch it and you can pull up. Just be very careful. Just lift straight up. Don't go to the side or anything. Um, because once you do that, you can yank it or you can actually pull out the whole thing and ruin your motherboard. Um, now, there's usually uh, another power cable you can see that goes all the way up here. And that's the one that goes all the way at the top. Right there. So you want to make sure you just remove that. This usually has latches as well. Um, you can see this in a 4-pin or an 8-pin. And this power supply came with an 8-pin, but we only needed a 4-pin for this exact motherboard. All right, so now we just want to track everything. Those are the two main ones every computer is going to have. So the next step depends on how many peripherals you got. We actually do have a CD and we have a hard drive here. So they're going to look, they're called SATA connectors, and they're going to look, sometimes they're really tied up here. You'll see it's all just kind of wrapped up. So this is what a hard drive connector looks like. And this one right there. Okay. So I'm looking just to make sure I have nothing else because that was just a hard drive. This is the CD. Uh, we took out the, the CPU power and we also took out the, the main board power, the 24 pin. Um, let's see if there's anything else just to make sure. But it does look like it's pretty good. So it looks like everything's unplugged. Now we can actually just take it out. So there's usually about three or four screws that go in there. You want to make sure you remove them. Um, this is a standard ATX power supply. We're going to replace it with a standard ATX power supply. Um, most towers are built this way. They're called mid-sized towers, and they have a basic ATX power supply. If you have one of those like really small towers, or um, just it looks like yours looks like a little box, it might need a smaller power supply that might not fit. You do want to check out to make sure it does fit before you get it. So we're just going to remove these screws. I don't want to leave it on the side like this, but um, it's going to be pretty straightforward. We're just removing these screws, and I'll take it out and show you guys from there. So once you get the screws out, you should just be able to really like push it. Okay, so then you can just pop it up. It comes up just like that. Just be careful of everything tied up together. Just go pretty slow. Right there. Okay, so this is the old one. Comes out, it looks just like that. we're going to be putting this bad boy in. We don't have a card, so I'm not worried about going to like a very high wattage. I'm just getting a 450. That's going to put me more than safe. Um, this one's actually, when you see the M, usually you get a modular one. You can kind of see that there's a cable out there. Let me just show you. So this is a modular power supply. And you can see here there's actually plugs that your power supply comes with. And this is just for extra peripherals or just anything else that you really need. Um, if you don't need anything too high end, you can just kind of get one of these. It just has some peripherals and SATA, nothing really fancy or anything. Um, this is just so, like, if you didn't have, like, a disk drive and you only had, like, one hard drive, you wouldn't need to plug all those other cables in. And it just keeps everything looking very nice. Let's go in there. It fits just like that, and we'll screw it back. So let's do that real quick. Okay. So once you put in your new power supply, you're going to want to make sure you plug in the right cables. So in this case, we don't have a lot of room to work with with um, cable management. That's unfortunate. Um, but you want to try to make it go as neat as possible. So you can see this one's going to have to go all the way across. It goes all the way in this top corner. And this one goes down here. Let's just at least go through the back, maybe the bottom here. Let's just make an attempt to try and make it look nice. And maybe we can push some of the cables out of the way. So we can plug this in here. Okay, maybe we can plug it back in or tie it in or something. 
Now we have the eight pin, but we only need four. Okay, so let's just try to tie this in, see if it can tread a little bit up here. See, we, sometimes you can tuck things a little bit behind the motherboard. All right, now we have peripheral cable. Okay, so we have one Molex connection we need, so let's do that up here. So I want to plug in my peripheral for my hard drives. Okay, so we want to get power back to our CD-ROM there, and we want to get power back to our hard drive. Okay, so everything's plugged up and in. Um, this looks like a mess, a zoo mess here. I don't like it, but let's see if we can hide a few things behind the chassis a little bit, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Some things can fit behind there, but other things you're not going to be too lucky on. Like, I guess we can tie a few of these up. Let's just do that, and just that's kind of all we can really do, right? So, if we can zip tie maybe this little chunk together. And since we're not really buying anything for it, we could just use the stuff that was included. So, that's going to help a lot just to at least keep some of the clutter away. I know it's still awful and everything, but hey, let me just tuck this in and see if I can tuck that in. Um, I know you guys are going to hate me for this, but um, I mean, that's kind of where I'm going to end it there. Just to kind of show you guys a little bit about a power supply and just how to install it real quick. You do want to make sure you keep connections away from the fan because it's going to make noise and it's going to hit it eventually. Um, so once, once it spins, you would hit that. So make sure it's all away. Um, just keep as neat as you possibly can. Some cases like this one, they don't have a very good cable management, so there's not a whole lot you can do. You can just try to hide things away, maybe tie it together so it's grouped messily, but so it's grouped very messy, but um, it's better than it was before, and everything does work. So it's unfortunate for this case, but again, that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If, if you really found it helpful, please share this with someone else. Um, please like the video and subscribe for more content, and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.